Hey, are, are you doing okay? I got your call that something bad was happening. What was the 911? Cyber bullies? Wait, who wrote a negative comment on your post? Oh, it was that guy again? Well, you know that you shouldn't listen to them. Well, because cyberbullies are just no more than cowards hiding behind their computer screen. I totally mean it. I mean, have you seen any of those stories of cyberbullies who go way too far over their heads? I remember I heard this one where a 12-year-old girl said that she was going to bomb the American Airlines on July 1st, I don't know what year, and she messaged them on Twitter, and they responded, they said that they take those kinds of threats seriously, even if it is just a quote-unquote joke, and that they sent that tweet to the FBI. <laughs> yeah, I mean it. And then after they told her that, she was freaking out, saying it was just a joke. She was like, it's just a prank, bro, it's just a prank, I don't even, I don't even want to do it. <laughs> well, getting off track, but getting back on track, you really shouldn't listen to them. You know, whatever they say, whatever rude comment, you know it's not true. Like, if they say you're, you know, if they say you're this, or they say you're that, or they tell you probably some of the worst things that could come out of a person's mouth. You should not listen to them because they are so not worth your time. And hey, I would know. I've gotten bullied before. Cyber bullied, physical bullied, you name it. I've been, you know, it happens and it, it really sucks that it does happen. But, you know, I stuck through it and I had friends and family to support me. And with this, for you, you have me. And I'm sure as hell not going to leave your side until this is taken care of and dealt with. Yeah, I mean it. And, well, you know, there is always this option. If you feel threatened by any of these comments, you can go to the police. Yeah, I mean it. They'll look into it. They'll do a full report on this. It'll... It'll suck, but... You know, it... Basically, it's like this. You can go to the cops, and they will go and see who this person is. And they might arrest them for some of the stuff that they said, because... You know, a lot of the stuff that this guy might be saying to you is a hate crime. And... You know, hate crimes and everything like that. That's not okay. And people will be like, oh, it's freedom of speech. No, 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 no. It's it's not. Hate speech is not freedom of speech. You're throwing insults. It's... <sighs> anyway, let, you know what? I got an idea. How about we turn off the computer, we go and sit in the living room, I'll order us a pizza, and we'll just watch a very, very crappy movie. Yeah, let's like... Here, let's rent the worst movie of all time. Yeah, I'm talking about that movie that John Tron had... Uh, the, the one that John Tron had reviewed. Birdemic. Oh, that movie was so bad. But you know what? It's funny. So we're gonna do it. We're just gonna sit in the living room, watch that bad movie, and then... You know what? I will even take you to wherever you want to go. You want to go to a restaurant, you want to go to a movie, you want to go to the fair, you want to do whatever. We'll do what you want to do. Because you know what? This is your day. And you know, like I said before... People who are trolls and cyber bullies on the internet and anywhere else, 
they are so not worth your time. Because you are special. And you are a very, very good person. Okay. You feel a little better? Alright, good. Okay, so, what do you want to do first? Movie here? Movie at the movie theaters? Or restaurant or whatever? It's your call. Your day. <laughs>